All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to share files and folders in a variety of different ways. You're going to know all the different ways to share files and folders from Office 365. And with that knowledge, you'll be able to make decisions about which way is best to share depending on like the circumstances you have. So if we scroll down, we're going to start in Office 365. And while there's multiple routes to do all the things I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to show you what I think is maybe the simplest way to do it. So say I have a file I want to share, a folder I want to share with somebody. What I'm going to do is go to my app launcher. I'm going to go to OneDrive. And when I'm at OneDrive, I'm going to go to My Files. And now I'm in a place where I can see all my folders and all my files that are mine. And let's say I wanted to share this seventh grade folder with somebody. I can select it. And then I have two choices. I can hit Share or Copy Link. If I hit Share, I can start typing someone name, someone's name in and then add a message to that person and hit send. And that'll send them an email and give them access to the thing that I want to share with them. Also, while I'm doing that, I can hit this drop down and I can choose. Do I want to let them edit it? Which means for like a folder, they can delete things out of it, but they can also add things to it. Or do I want to make it just view where they, can, they can't do anything to it, but they can just see it. And they could download things from it if there's things in that folder that they want to keep, but they can't add anything and they can't delete anything. Same thing would go if I wanted to do like a document. So a document and I go share. If I choose to let the person edit, that means they can make changes to it. View means they just look at it. And review means they can like add comments and make suggestions, but they can't actually change it. And the process would be the same. I'd type that person's name, their email would pop up, I'd send that, I'd click on that, and then I'd add a message and I'd hit send and it would send them an email. That's not actually how we're going to turn this assignment in. What we're going to do is create a shared link. So if I wanted to create a shared link, what I would do is select a folder or a file. And the easiest way is just to hit copy link. So when you hit copy link, if it pops up and asks to allow, you're going to hit allow. So now you can copy that link. Now, what about those permissions, though? Do I want to let these people view? Because anybody who gets this link who has a Snohomish School District login would be able to get access to this file. So if I click this, I can now change it. Do I want to make anybody, like anybody in the whole world could access this? And people in the Snohomish School District, people who already have access, or do I just want to let specific people choose? And then do I want to let them view, review, or edit if they have the link? And then do I want to block the download? Do I want to make it so that person can actually save that file of their own? These are all choices that you'd make based on the circumstances or setting for when you're sharing. For me, I'm just going to leave it as people in the district can view. I'm going to hit apply, and now I have a shareable link. I'm going to hit copy, and then any way I can, I'm going to get that link to the person who wants it. So if I'm publishing a website, maybe I put it on my website, that people go to the website and see it. If I'm sending an email, maybe I just paste it into an email. Or if I'm on Canvas, what you're going to do is go back to the assignment, hit submit assignment, and where it says website URL in the assignment, you're going to paste it. And you can just right click and paste in that box, or you can do hold control and tap the V key to paste it also. And that's how you finish the assignment.